types of paintings and stuff. And it's interesting that my art is the way it is because me having a history degree, I like to paint items from the back, of, you know, from back in the day and stuff like that as well as paint current stuff. But I'm just intrigued with a lot of the history that we have, and especially here in Kansas City. I am very intrigued with that. So here I'm going to show you a painting that I just recently finished called uh, The Juke Joint, Kansas City in 1940. And I wanted to kind of give my take on that. I got the idea from a from a photograph that was in Harlem, but the kind of the, the same kind of concept was going on here as well in Kansas City. And I just put my take on it. Here we see the drawing on the canvas. As I kind of started, I wanted to show uh, just some people sitting down at the bar. Uh, and other people in the back, you know, just kind of enjoying themselves. Maybe a Friday evening, you know, everybody's coming out and trying to enjoy their time together. Uh, you know, it being segregated back then, of course, everybody of color had to go to the same places. But this is just kind of how I got the idea to start this. <laughs> then I started kind of blending in, bringing in the, the color, uh, the painting ideal that I got was, like I said, was a black and white. So I kind of put my own incorporation of what I thought the women looked like and the colors of, of the ladies back then. As you can see, this is a beautiful woman. I have, you know, tried to put as much life as I can using the medium that I use, which is acrylic. And here I kind of put the background. I like using the black background because the black background to me brings out the nostalgic of the time and it shows you that those rooms you know they were very dark rooms back then they weren't that much lighting and it was there was a lot of darkness anyway so i just wanted to use the black background to bring out the colors of the people themselves as we get into the painting and move forward in it so using black it's just my thing i just like to do that whenever i do these type of historical uh renditions and here I just wanted to show the detail that I tried to put. Almost made him kind of look like John Amos a little bit from Good Times. But, uh, and you know, he did have some time here in Kansas City as a chief. Uh, but I just, these are just people that I just kind of looked at and I just put together from different photos to into this to make it, you know, come together. And that's not John Amos. I just, he just happened to kind of look like him. Here I'm starting to put color in. As you can see, the color is starting to come in and I'm starting to put the basis of what I think. And I try to use colors from that time frame uh, because you don't want to use colors of today from colors from back then and certain things that they did. They had the, the different shades that they used. And I just wanted to do that as well. Here I'm starting to add more, as you can see, more of the life is coming in into the painting, coming in and can we bring the self in. And I wanted to have more people, not just the, the three that started out or the four. So I started filling out the back, the background with more folks. You see it's coming together, it's coming on, and there's people that's in the rare areas. You know, when you go to a club or a place like that you know you want to you know it's got to be more than just one or two people so you want to show the aspect of it and here again we're starting to bring in more and more of the shading and coloring and and everything to bring the the people to life and hopefully they don't look too cartoonish i try to make them look as lively as i can using the meat meat my use Here we're starting to darken it up a little bit and get a little bit more texture to it. Just wanted to have a little bit more, uh, you know, substance to make it look a little bit more authentic. And I know some of it looks a little off, but I just try to do what I can. And the skill set that I have, I'm sure, is I could do a little better. But I think this is a nice painting. Here we bring in more things on the table and you know, to show the life of, of them actually sitting at a bar. And 
here we're coming together with with everything as you can see this is a completed painting and it, it has everything in place uh you know it just looks i think a very nice painting um this is a a a my rendition of trying to get what i thought back in the 40s how as you see they're eating cheese and dipping food and, and just different things in the paint you know they're eating so uh that's what they did back then they they ate they partied they danced they, they listened to good music and, and you know they had issues as well as anybody else but this is what they did and, and i just wanted to bring that to life today in a painting and i call this like i said the juke joint Kansas City 1940 and it is for sale and it'll be available for those who if they don't want to buy the original they can also get a copy of a print if you contact Leonard to do artistic productions you'll be able to find out how you can get that and this is my art coming at you thank you so much for taking time out to to look at this video and hopefully I'll be able to get to you even more. Thank you so much.